Don't believe anything I say. I don't. I'm just joking. Okay, you guys, we're gonna solve. We're gonna solve what's called linear equations, and it's not too bad. We'll give it to you. We'll give you this process in pieces. Okay. So, in my mind, I'm gonna show you a method known as translation. But before I start, solving linear equations is based on the following type of logic, OK? Um, if you have the left side of an equation equal the right side, OK? Then here's what you're free to do to your equation. Your book will describe this as a balance. Your book says, OK, the left side is balanced by the right side. So when you read your book, you can look at the nice picture of the balance. I, I draw a balance here for you, but I can't really draw. Okay, triangles and squares is about as good as it gets. So here's what you're free to do. You can add the same number to both sides of your equation. Okay? And you preserve what's known as the balance. Or you can subtract the same number from both sides of the equation and it preserves your balance. So really, you know, this is what's happening. So for example, if you have x plus 4 equals, let's say, 11. Now, I guess, what's this class again? It's beginning algebra, math 115? OK, so you actually did this in 112, those of you guys who took 112. Is that true? Yeah. So. Let's use the logic here. Okay. I can add or subtract both sides the same value. So the idea again was you had to add or subtract a number, right, that got rid of this addition of 4. Because when you solve for x, you're trying to isolate x. You want to get x by itself. Okay. So if you guys remember, what did you add to both sides? Or did you subtract? OK, what did you subtract? You subtracted 4 to both sides, and you preserved your what? Your balance. Are you guys with me on this? All right, and then you know, again, you recall that what's 4 minus 4? You guys know? If you have $4 and you owe $4, what's the story? Your money's gone. So there's, the number here, 4, on the left side is gone. So x will equal now, what's 11 minus 4, though? on the right side. What is it? Six? Seven. Seven. You guys have solved this equation for x, right? x is by itself, if you guys remember this. Well, for me personally, I never do this when I solve equations. What I'll do is equivalent. And I think it's probably your, your best interest to learn this alternate method known as Translation. Okay? This is what I mean by translation. You are free, ladies and gentlemen, to move any of these terms that you see to the opposite side of your equal sign, the opposite side of your equation. So on the left side, I can move an x to the right side. I can move a 4 to the right side. You guys with me on that? Or I can move the 11 to the left side. I can move the terms to the other side. But the price you pay for moving a term is what? Does anybody know about translation? What's the price you pay for moving a term? <coughs> if you had Math 112 with me, you already know. If we're solving for x and we're trying to get x by itself, what term should I move to the other side? What's happening with the x on the left? We're adding 4. Is that true? You're going to want to move this 4 to the other side. You're going to translate that 4. 
But if you translate the four, okay, I'm only moving four, so that means x is by itself. I didn't move 11, it is still there. Do you guys remember about translation? What happens? The four on the left is positive. When you translate it, it's now what? So when you move a term to the other side, when you translate, you change its what? You change the sign. You guys okay with that? So I'll put that here. Change the sign. When you move the what? When you move the term to the other side. And so notice this. What I'm saying to you is that translation is equivalent to what you've already done here in Math 112 by subtracting both sides of the same value. It just so happens 4 minus 4 here is the number what? Is the number 0. It's gone. And what you have on the right side, 11 minus 4? Isn't, the, isn't that 4 gone here on the left? And on the right side, don't you have a minus 4? These methods are equivalent. Okay, So the summary of the shorthand for doing this specific process here is when you translate, when you move a term to the other side, you simply change its what? You change its sign. And so now you get x equals, what's 11 minus 4? 7. Isn't that what you had before? Mm -hmm. Yes. This method will work, and you guys will see, it works for all, solving all linear equations. And that's the method I actually choose to, to show people. Um, but it's equivalent to using that piece of logic. But this is 115. A lot of you guys already know how to solve these equations from 112. For example, let's do another example. x minus 6, let's say, is negative 5. What would translation say to do here? You're solving for x. What's happening with this x? You're subtracting 6, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you want to move? You move the 6. What do you end up getting? Well, notice, I didn't move x. I didn't move negative 5. They're still on, the, on their sides. x is on the left. Negative 5 is on the right. I'm moving the 6. The sign in front of it is what? Negative, so when I move it, it's plus 6. So what's, what's negative 5 plus 6? What is it? It is 1. You guys have solved this equation for x. What would you do using the logic? Add 6 to both sides. Isn't the 6 gone on the left? Say yes. Negative 5 plus 6. Isn't that negative 5 plus 6? It's the same process. Okay? It's the same piece of logic. So I've actually found that actually people prefer translation because um, it's like a summary. It's a shorthand for solving these equations. You don't have to do so much writing when you do it. Um, you just have to remember when you move a term to the other side, you change its what? Change its sign. Okay, good. How about this? x minus 13, okay, equals, oh, what? 17. You're solving for x. How do you do that? By translation, what term do you want to move? 13. It's now on the other side. What's its sign? Okay. So x will be 17 now plus what? Plus 13. And then what does that mean about x? x is what's 17 plus 13? 30. OK, anybody have any questions? No? You sure? OK. Here we go. x plus 11 is negative 6. What do you want to move? 